what if a 20 year old has a quote unquote bad knee or a 40 year old for that matter. Knee replacements aren't really great options for that so we need to do something else and that something else is joint preservation. What kind of procedures are sort of summarized under joint preservation? It's not taking out things. So trimming your meniscus for the umpteenth time, that's not joint preservation. Joint preservation may be repairing a meniscus tear that otherwise might have been trimmed, doing a cartilage transplant. Or for example, if someone really is bow-legged, then there are procedures called osteotomies to straighten that out because otherwise you get a lot of arthritis. But it can also be a multiply revised ACL where you don't just do another ACL, but you add other things to it. Whether it's you add a meniscus transplant for someone who lost their meniscus, maybe in their second ACL reconstruction. But in terms of joint preservation and prevention, if that first ACL is done the best possible way, then hopefully you'll never get to that situation where you're in your 30s and then we need to do a transplant. When I look at a patient who comes in with cartilage damage, I try not to be overly dogmatic because there's always a spectrum of disease. So it depends on how old are you, how many defects do you have in your knee, what does the rest of your knee look like. There are different techniques such as taking tissue from a donor, usually that's called fresh osteochondral allograft transplantation, but sometimes we use your own, where I take tissue from you, that's called MACI, M-A-C-I, and then I send that to a company and they grow more cartilage from your own cartilage. Cartilage repair, cartilage transplantation, that is my specialty and I've done that since graduating from fellowship in 2006. In terms of numbers, it, it's a more rare procedure to be done. So ACL reconstructions between 150,000 and 250,000 every year. If you look at these more complicated cartilage transplants, that's less than 10,000 a year in the US. So it just shows you it's a much smaller volume. Through hard work and research and publications, you get your name out and then you do more and more. And I can say I'm probably among the top five or 10 people in the country, just in terms of volume of doing these. And then another common question is, if I get a cartilage transplant, am I fine forever? And I would love nothing more than that, but I can promise, and I don't think it would be fair to promise that I can keep a knee replacement out of your knee forever. But the goal is more to delay that until a more appropriate time. And being in your 30s or 40s, it's not really an appropriate time to have a knee replacement. In your 60s, 70s, maybe your late 50s, that works much better. Helping patients to be active again and having less pain and do things they love doing, it's very worthwhile doing.